subscriber has introduced me to him, you guys, three months ago with Baby Jane, and then um, one month ago with Selling. So today, you guys, we have The Killing of Georgie, part one and two. So pretty excited, it has a number part one and two part. I'm um, official video, you guys, so let's get straight into it. Um, Without further ado, let's go. Okay, you guys, so The Killing of Georgie, part one and two, is a song written and recorded by Rod and released on the track of his 1976 album, A Night on the Town. The song tells the story of a gay man who was killed in New York City. Oh my gosh. Number two, part part one was the more popular hit and was blended into the more of Simbra part two. The song was released as a single August 1976, spent 10 weeks on the UK single charts, reeking and peaking at <laughs> weekend reaching a peak position at number two well damn so this is deeper than what i was thought it was gonna be without further ado you guys let's get straight into it let me know how you guys feel down in the comments and as you guys know we do not discriminate so hopefully um it's not explicit but i don't see rod stewart making fun of nobody i think he's gonna tell more of like a storytelling of um someone's life Changing ways, so-called liberated days A story comes to mind, a friend of mine Georgia boy was gay, I guess Nothing more or nothing less The kindest guy I ever knew His mother's tears fell in vain In the afternoon, George tried to explain That he needed love like all the rest Paul says there must be a mistake How can my son not be straight After all I've said and done for him <laughs> Leaving home on a greyhound bus Cast out by the ones he loves A victim of these gay days it seems Georgie went to New York town where he quickly settled down and soon became the toast of the great white way. Accepted by Manhattan's elite and all the places that were she, no party was complete without George. <laughs> Along the boulevards he cruised and all the old queens blew a fuse. Everybody loved Georgie Boy. Georgie was the nicest he ever met to everybody. He just brightened up everybody's life. He made, he's picturing Georgie as just this brilliant and bright person, you guys, this kind person that just, everybody loved him. He was very popular, um, but his parents or his mother did not accept the way he was living. Um, but I feel like no matter what, your kids are gonna love who they love and you are their parents, so like I said, who are you to judge? You are not God. But everybody has different beliefs and everybody um, has different opinions. Of course, this is mine. But if I found out my son was like that, I would still love him, you guys. And I would still accept him. Um, I didn't grow up like that, you guys. I grew up with um, basically looking down upon people like that. But as I grew, you shouldn't judge nobody. You should have an open mind. Um, you do what you do, they do what they do. This is their, everybody has different life. Everybody live a different lifestyle. I don't think you should judge anybody. I don't think you discri You should discriminate against anybody. So, um, but I did grow up. You don't like the same gender. But I, I grew to understand that you love everybody. You don't judge people. Just because your parents or your grandparents or their grandparents raised them like that and try to raise you like that, you have to have more of an open mind and more of an open heart. Strictly my opinion though. Sound like a nice day. The last time I 
saw George alive was in the summer of 75. He said he was in love. I said, I'm pleased. George attended the opening night of another Broadway hype that split before the final curtain fell. Deciding to take a shortcut home, arm in arm, they meant no wrong. A gentle breeze blew down Fifth Avenue. Side street came a New Jersey gang with just one aim to roll some innocent passerby. There ensued a fearful fight, screams rung out in the night. George is headed a sidewalk cornerstone. A leather kid, a switchblade knife, who did not intend to take his life, he just pushed his luck a little too far that night. Side of blood dispersed the gang A crowd gathered, the police came An ambulance screamed to a halt On 53rd and 3rd George's life ended there But I ask who really cares George once said to me And I quote he said, never wait or hesitate. Get in, kid, before it's too late. Yeah. You may never get another chance. Yeah. Only one life. Just use some mask, but it don't last. Live it long and live it fast. Georgie was a friend of mine. they do Georgia like that. Georgie, making you fall in love with him so you can picture him how bright he was how kindness he was how he lit up the room when he came in how there wasn't even a party without Georgie not being there like it wasn't the same and then I um I was getting part two as his emotions pouring out how he missed him and how he basically wished he was back here how he is a friend and so this was nice the vocals was nice he got intense and then he got low and it was nice the way he presented it and the details he put in to make you picture it more georgie basically died because the way he was a gang of people wanted to bully an innocent person and um took his life that night storytelling don't know if it's true but very storytelling you guys let me know how you guys feel about Ross Stewart and we'll do more of him. Smash the like button, hit that rubber, you guys. Definitely a nice tune. Definitely a nice song and storytelling at that. So, 
The Killing of Georgie. Damn. Rest in peace to Georgie. <laughs> Let's go, y'all.